It's Amy. I am back at it with another essay, and this one is a very special collab essay. Uh, so just a little bit about how this essay came about. So I was in the History of Westeros live chat. Shout out to all my live chatters out there. And Julie A. in the chat mentioned a theory she had, and it sounded really interesting to me. And I said she should write it down. And she said, do you want to do it together? And so I am very fortunate that Julie allowed me to get in on this theory because I thought it was really interesting and I thought there's a lot of merit to it. Uh, and so just to preface, all of these ideas are essentially Julie's and the main writing was done by her. I mostly uh, helped discuss the ideas and hash out some things and writing the intro and the conclusion. Uh, and so I, this is all Julie and I was just lucky to be a part of it. So let's go ahead and start this. This is called The Sun Hiding the Spear, Dark Star as Duran Spy. So this is by myself, Amy Blackfire, and then Julie Araya Flint. Doran Martell first appears docile and uninvolved in political intrigue, but later Ariane chapters have revealed him as a scheming politician who is using this image as a cover for his plots. We argue that the character of Dark Star is a part of this cover. While Duran seems concerned about him being dangerous, Darkstar is actually working as a spy for Duran, a pawn in his own Game of Thrones. With this added knowledge of Darkstar as a pawn of Duran, the Dornish plot comes alive with possibilities. So Dark, Darkstar and Duran are working together, a sword and a shield. One person acting as a sword and the other person acting as a shield is used elsewhere in the story, particularly when it comes to Duran Martell. Duran Ober and Oberyn had a relationship where Oberyn was out front, a visible warrior, the Red Viper of Dorne. Duran and Darkstar establishing a sword-shield relationship follows the practice of Duran and Oberyn. This relationship type benefits both parties. Duran makes strategic plans and represents the official Dornish position in the realm. This is especially important when it comes to keeping good relations with the Iron Throne. We know that while Duran openly communicates a position that is obsequious to the Iron Throne, he has secrets, secret plans to align with the Targaryens. Duran has Oberyn as a partner, a sword, which, who makes tactical plans that achieve Duran's secret goals. Duran's relationship with Oberyn is a uh, precedence for a similar arrangement with Darkstar. With Oberyn dead, it makes sense that Duran would seek another sword, even someone with a dangerous or untrustworthy reputation like Darkstar. After all, there are other examples of this sword and shield relationship among lords and dangerous characters, including Gregor and Tywin. For decades, these two carried out atrocities, the killing of Elia and her children, the raping and pillaging of the Riverlands. Uh, this benefited Lannisters and allowed Tywin to claim deniability. There's the example of Lynn Corbray and Peter Baelish, and there's also finally the example of Ramsay at uh, Snow and Roose Bolton. So Darkstar and Duran are working together. Darkstar told, or was he ordered? There are decent theories about Tyene and Garen being the ones who told uh, because the ambush by Arya Hota occurred at the Greenblood. Arianne's party met up at the ruins, then rode to the Green Blood, where Darkstar turned his sword on Marcella. Whoever told Doran of Ariane's plan, uh, plot to crown Marcella, that person would need to know about the plans to take a boat to Green Blood because that's where Ario intervened. Darkstar is a candidate because, as stated in the Queen Maker, Darkstar arrived a day before others at the Green Blood. Ariane, Dre, and Silva arrived around sunset and Garen a few hours earlier. It's possible that Ario arrived with Darkstar and rode to the Green Blood the night before to lay the trap. Darkstar says to Ariane that crowning Marcella is a hollow jester and that the only way to start a war is with a sword. He's openly stating his desire for violence, which sounds similar to something Oberyn would say. We argue that Darkstar likely said the same thing to Duran. Duran imprisoned the Sand Snakes in the Spear Tower early in the Feast for Crows. After Obara pressured Duran to call the Spears, and Tyene explained the idea to crown Marcella. Duran says that he'll think about it. At this point, he may have realized that he could only delay the Sand Snakes and that he needed to set his plan in motion with Darkstar. 
Darkstar and Drian are working together to harm or kill Marcella. Examining the possibilities for Ariane's betrayer is interesting, but that doesn't examine the motive for why Darkstar attacked Marcella, as Ariane asked herself. Someone told. Garen, Dre, and Spotted Silva were friends of her girlhood, as dear to her as her cousin Tiny. She could not believe that they would inform on her, but that left only Darkstar, and if he was the betrayer, why had he turned his sword on poor Marcella? End of quote. One possibility is that it was prearranged by Duran and Darkstar to harm or kill Marcella. Duran may be copying Tywin's approach from the Sack of King's Landing, where Gregor killed Aegon and Rhaella, and Tywin claimed Gregor was acting on his own. Using Tywin's approach, Duran can keep up appearances and blame a rogue, dangerous actor, Darkstar, for the attempted murder. On the way to the Green Blood, Darkstar is the only one that does not drink alcohol, instead choosing to drink lemon water. This is perhaps a sign that he wanted to remain focused for his upcoming mission that was assigned to him by Duran. Assuming Darkstar told Duran of Ariane's plans, what was Duran's intent for Darkstar at the meeting? He didn't want the crowning and sent Oreo to stop it. It is possible that Duran ordered Darkstar to kill Marcella, or perhaps more ingeniously, ordered him to cut her with a sword that was coated with a slow-acting poison. There are also poisons in world that can be mistaken for a death from organ failure, such as widow's blood and the tears of lease. If Marcella's facial wound is poisoned, then by the time she returns to King's Landing, it could appear that she died of an infection or illness, and Dorne would be essentially blameless. Then Duran would be open to betroth Tristane to Danny or uh, another female contender for the throne. With Marcella gone, there was also the opening for F slash Aegon uh, to be engaged to Ariane and have a united Targaryen Dornish alliance to attack King's Landing. After the incident with Marcella, Duran expresses dismay and displeasure to Ariane. Quote, as it is, the slash opened her cheek down to the bone and sliced off her right ear. Maester Calote, Calote, not sure, was able to save her life, but no poultice nor potion will ever restore her face. She was my ward, Ariane, betrothed to your own brother and under my protection. You have dishonored all of us, end quote. Duran wanted to prevent Ariane from crowning Marcella, possibly to carry out his own plans regarding Marcella and to divert the blame from Ariane to Darkstar. After all, Duran's reactions, a reaction to the ladies involved in Ariane's crowning plot is light, as Duran says, quote, the time has not yet come for Dorne to openly defy the Iron Throne, end quote. While he has been secretly defying the Iron Throne for 15 years, after the incident with Marcella, Duran punishes those involved, Silva uh, to uh, Estermont and Garen to Tyrosh. Such, uh, sure, those are punishments, but it's not exactly the dungeons. This indicates that Duran was planning an exit strategy for a while, possibly while the Sand Snakes were in the Spear Tower. Hiding Darkstar. When Balon Swan arrives in Dorne, Duran sends him and Obara on a mission to get Darkstar. Quote, Obara, you will lead him, Balon Swan, to High Hermitage to beard Darkstar in his den. End quote. Because it was a failed attempted murder, Duran has to put on a show by sending Obara and Balon to hunt down Darkstar, while sending Tyene and Nymeria to King's Landing. What are the chances that Darkstar is even at High Hermitage? If Duran is sending Obara, and Balon on a wild goose chase, it is to delay them to give F slash Aegon time to land and or Qu Quentin time to marry Daenerys. Obara is the one that will lead Swan to High Hermitage. If Darkstar was completely acting alone or without his protection, he would likely send a larger force. Obara will kill Swan along the way or arrange for him to be killed. So where is Darkstar? 
We argue that he is certainly not a high hermitage, but is either on a mission from Duran or hiding out elsewhere. Some possibilities are Starfall or the Water Gardens. It is also possible that he has been sent to keep an eye on strong Dornish houses that Duran worries will not get in line when he needs them, such as House Ironwood. So, where the Duran Dark Star partnership fits in the landscape. Duran knows that he can't openly defy the Iron Throne, yet he wants to take action. His actions are reminiscent of Varys and Illyrio. Varys and Duran have many similar goals that could hint at them working together, or at least letting the other continue to scheme as long as it is beneficial. Both want the Seven Kingdoms to be in chaos. Varys for the purpose of F slash Aegon's landing, and Duran for the eventual Dornish Rebellion. Even if Varys does not allow does not know of Duran's plans to marry Ariane to F slash Aegon, Duran has a history of being hard to uh, keep under control of the Iron Throne. So it is not unthinkable that Varys could see Dorn as a future ally of F slash Aegon's cause. While Varys and Duran may not be explicitly working together, their shared goals are notable the Seven Kingdoms in Chaos, and into the Lannisters, and the reestablishment of Targaryen rule. Both Duran and Varys want conditions in Westeros to be ripe for rebellion. Both Duran and Varys have been plotting for a while. Duran has been rebelling since Elia died, though it's unclear when exactly Varys started his plans for Viserys slash Daenerys, but Varys' plans have been in place for years. Duran is known to keep his plans closely held. He's so secretive that he kept his daughter, Ariane, in the dark about his plans for her future and his plans to marry her to Viserys and become queen. The larger point is the Dark Star and Duran are not what they appear. Just as Duran trusted Oberyn to carry out his plots, despite the Red Viper's unpredictable nature, Duran has entrusted Dark Star to be his sword and throw him under the bus if necessary. Using Darkstar, Duran has already began to campaign for Jornish independence, revenge against the Lannisters, and one of his children married to the ruler on the Iron Throne. Thank you so much for listening. Please like, subscribe. The link to my Twitter and my blog is in the description, as well as the link to um, the theory. We posted this theory as well on Westeros.org, so you can check it out there or check it out on my blog. And Thank you so much for listening. I will be back next time with my essay on peaches.